guys, I'm starting this in my car just because I feel like the lighting's gonna be a lot better in here. Once I go into my room, the lighting probably won't be the best. This video is going to be for my leopard gecko, Simba. I got Simba a couple years ago, and at first he was in a 20-gallon long tank, which is a pretty decent tank for him. Um, but during these past two years, I've been really focusing on researching more about him and what he needs, and today I'm going to be giving him a huge makeover. Because of Black Friday, I was able to get him a 40 gallon front opening tank, which I'm so excited about. He's actually already in there. I've actually already had him in there for about like two nights, I'd say. And he's loving it, he's exploring it. But on top of giving him a much bigger tank, I also want to give him a better environment. So for the past two years, he's been on a non-adhesive shelf liner, which is a pretty popular substrate that a lot of people use and when it comes to leopard geckos and substrates it's a very controversial topic and it's really based on preference but anyways the only big rule is that you shouldn't really give them loose substrate before they're six months old and Simba is at least two years old so today I'm finally going to be switching him to loose substrate. I'll be honest I'm very nervous about it just because I really do love him so much. He really is amazing but I think he's definitely ready and I really want to give him more of a natural environment. The past few days I've been spending a lot of money and I finally have pretty much everything. The only thing that I think that I need to get is a thermostat for the heat mat but other than that I have everything and I bought so much. So I actually just got back from Lowe's picking up his substrate and then I also had an online order that I had to pick up. And I picked up some more stuff, and I have some stuff in my room. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys me setting up his new tank. And also showing you guys... Um, I'm going to show you guys me handling him, because I actually have gotten more comfortable handling him than I used to. If you guys watched my Leopard Gecko tank cleaning video, you would see that I was kind of ne very nervous about holding him. But I've gotten a lot more comfortable since then, so I'm going to be showing you guys me handling him, me setting up his new tank, and just showing you guys what he also thinks of the tank. So, let's go do that. I'm taking a break because the sand is so heavy. I'm so tired of lifting. Um, I bought everything upstairs except for the sand so far, but I, bought, I got so much stuff. This tank is going to look so cool, guys. I also do want to add actual real plants someday. I'm not going to be doing that in this video just because um, right now it's just not a huge necessity and also I am pretty tight on money, especially with Christmas coming up, but I did get some cool stuff. Okay, I did it. I honestly didn't know if I was going to be able to get the sand up here, but I did it. So here is Simba's new tank. Look at how much bigger. So this is his new tank and then that's that's what he was in before so look at that and then look at this this is two times bigger than the one that he was already in and thing i like about this is that it just opens very easily like this look at that look how fun that is now look at all this room that he has if anyone's wondering about that this is a sock it's a clean sock but this has my scent on it and a lot of people say to put a sock or a piece of clothing in your leopard gecko's tank to, um, like, associate the, like, safe place with your scent. So that's what I do. I also got this and this and this. These are brand new. I got them, like, I think yesterday. Um, and then these, um, these are old. These are what he's had for the past two years. I'm still going to keep them in there. But I'm just letting you guys know that these are the ones that I've already had. And then as you can see, he's on paper towels right now just because I don't have a shelf liner that's this size. And I also knew I was going to be getting substrate anyways, so I put him on paper towels. He's right in here. I don't want to lift it up and bother him right now, but he's in there. I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. So this is um, the substrate. I've done a bunch of research, and pretty much everyone says that this is the best thing to do. I got topsoil and play sand, and I'm just going to do a 70, 70 topsoil and 30 play sand percent um, mixture. This is his water for drinking, which I also put RepiSafe in. Uh, I always showed you guys this. 
So, I got um a bunch of this stuff on a really good deal. This was my online order. This is what I just got. I didn't get this on a good deal, but it's honestly pretty inexpensive. I have one in this 20-gallon tank, but it's like the tan kind. And this one, I got the slate background, which I really, really like. I think it's going to look so nice with the dirt. So, I got this one. And then, this is his heat source. I got a new lamp, and I got a 75-watt halogen heat lamp. And then, I also got this pretty decent sized um heat mat so he's gonna be very warm and then i also got these like hanging terrarium plants i just thought that i could put them on each side then this is for his calcium i got lefty calcium i got it in i already have this one but i wanted to get a new one i have this in d3 and without d3 with d3 is for his food like when i'm giving him mealworms or crickets or something like that I'll sprinkle this on it, and then without D3, it's for me to leave in there in this bowl. I also got some sphagnum moss and some magnolia leaves. So overall, I think this is going to come out to be really, really nice. The first thing I need to do is actually get Simba out of the tank. Sorry, my room is pretty dirty. Um, is that going to stay? I don't know. Okay, that should be good. So I gotta get Simba out of the tank, and I'm gonna put him back in the 20 gallon, just for right now while I'm, you know, doing this. The first thing I need to do is take everything out of the tank. Now that everything's out of the tank, I'm going to be adding the heat mat. I'm honestly really excited about this. This thing is usually a lot of money, and I got it for $26. So, pretty decent. Also, if my voice sounds kind of funny, I'm sick, just letting you guys know. So, it might sound a little weird at times, but just know that I have had a cold. But yeah, this is for a 40, this is for a 30 to 40 gallon, and yeah, I'm just very excited about it. I already have my UVB light set up right here, so this is going to be my cool side, so then my warm side will be right here. So, I am going to... Do this. I'm just like moving it like this so I can put the heat mat down. Look at this. It's gonna be satisfying. Oh, you guys can see all of my mess. Let's move you guys. What I need to do is get this. This is how I'm going to be using so many outlets. Well, I only need three, but this is how I'm going to be using three um, outlets. So I got like the clamp, but I'm just going to be resting it on there. And then I also got my Arcadia 75 watt halogen bulb. So here it is. I got this lamp on a really good sale. This was literally like $12. So I'm very, very happy about that. And yeah, I'm just twisting it, twisting it in. There we go. The UVB heat lamp and heat mat should be good. This is the best angle I'm going to I don't even know if I need the other bag. I'm honestly really nervous about how I'm going to get the sand in. I really don't want a bunch of sand all over my carpet. Sand is pretty easy to clean up. I just, of course, use my um, shop vac, but yeah, I really don't want that. So anyways, I'm going to do this and then add the sand in.
So I actually did end up adding the other bag. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this bag on the ground. I'm gonna like grab chunks and then put it in. I'm only gonna have to shop back my carpet, which is fine. But now I'm just mixing it all together. Mixing this has not been easy. I got half of it done and I still need to do this half. I thought that splitting it up like half and half would be easier, which I think it is easier. But then I'm also going to have to mix like both sides together. Getting the dirt from the bottom is honestly the most difficult part because it's so heavy. But I'm getting it all. Like look, here's, here's a bunch right here. There's like dirt that hasn't been mixed in. Some from the middle. Yeah, like there. There's some dirt. I think I am finally done. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm really, really nervous about switching Simba to blue substrate. But he is over six months. And everyone says that if they're over six months, they will be okay. So that's what I'm hoping for. I really do think he's going to love being in more of a natural environment. So, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Now what's happening is I'm going to be putting in this great background. You guys are in the terrarium right now. These are really nice because they're just very easy to put in. It really doesn't take anything to put in, which is, you know, very helpful. Uh-oh. So I think I'm going to have to move some of the dirt out of the way. I was right about this not being the perfect size, but it's literally like this much not perfect. So what I'm doing now is now that I have it in, I'm just like pushing it up and then shoving some dirt under here. Yeah, I actually noticed that there's a bit of like this on here, which is why I switched it to this side. It's not like it's bad. It's not like terrible so i really don't have any like feeling of wanting to like bring it back or anything like that and this isn't really for climbing anyway so it doesn't really matter if like these are pointing up or down so i'm just gonna leave it and the dirt is definitely gonna cover that look at what i just found in the soil this was probably the hardest thing that i've done so far putting this background in was so difficult now i will say that it was my fault because i put the dirt in first I truly thought that this was a lot shorter than it actually was. So I thought that I could put the dirt in and then it was going to be like this short. But no, it was a very rough um, thing to do. Anyways though, so we have the substrate and we have the background in. So now the fun part is decorating. I forgot that I actually need to put these in here too. So I'm going to do that. This is my sphagnum moss. These are magnolia leaves. Everything is now mixed in. I think it looks pretty great. I'm just gonna move my UVB light to the middle. There we go. Okay, I just put some new paper towels in his humid hide. So this is like all fresh and good to go. So the humid hide is always supposed to be in the middle, and then cool hide and warm hide. Cool hide over here, and then I'm going to use the rock for the warm side because this is going to get like hotter for him to kind of bask in. So I'm going to put, let's see, I guess this right there, that looks nice. And then I'll just put this like in the middle, I guess. I don't know, I feel like this is kind of awkward. Oh, I forgot to put the, take the plastic off. This is kind of awkward, honestly, but I'm just going to have this right here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now I need to put his food bowls in. Alright, so I finished the tank off camera. I turned off my camera because, um, how do I say this? For the, a few weeks ago, my grandma was diagnosed with cancer and... We've been going back and forth to um, visit her in the hospitals and all that. 
and I just found out that she passed away. So, yeah, um, I did finish the tank, so I guess I will show you guys that, but please keep my family in your prayers. It's definitely a very hard week for my family. It's been a hard month, but it's going to definitely be a hard week. I'll show you guys the tank, though. This is it. Um... So I have all the soil, sphagnum moss, and magnolia leaves all mixed in, and the sand. Um, cool side, warm side. The humid hide's right here. I have the bowl full of calcium with no D3. Uh, food bowl. And, yeah, just the hides and the wood for them to climb on and go under. So, yeah. Here was an overview of it. I think it came out really, really nice. I'm pretty excited to let him check it out. Here he is. First thing he wanted to do is go into his humid hide. Um, but this is his very first time walking on loose substrate. Bob, what do you think? There he is. He's like, wait, where am I? Simba is now out and definitely licking. He's exploring. What do you think of this, bub? Look at them. That's so cute. By the way, if you guys see the temperature right there, it's because it's still, um, it really is still heating up. I know that it's supposed to be around 90 degrees. Uh, a little nervous. He's going to go back inside. But I'm sure soon he'll be exploring everything. So he's out again. All right. So, yep, he's really exploring now. This is really exciting to see. Ooh, he's seeing his calcium. So he's licking his calcium, which is what he's supposed to be doing, which is really, really good, and I'm really happy to see that. He's licking a lot. I'm putting the thermometers up with some command hooks that I have, but Simba's being so active, guys. I'm very excited. Simba, what do you think? Do you like it? It's very new, isn't it? He's also never seen this, like, even on his shelf liner, he's never seen this before. But what do you think, dude? Does a loose substrate feel good? I actually want it to be in the middle, so I'm gonna change it to the middle on that side, too. Simba found his favorite hide. This is his favorite hide. I got him this hide a few months ago, and he's just loved it ever since, and as you can see, he still loves it. Guys, Simba's exploring so much, and it's honestly so cute. I also wanted to show how much the temperature has risen, which is nice. But look, this keeps coming, like, in and out of the hides, and it's honestly so cute. I think he's, like, feeling the warmth right now, which is really nice. Yeah, he's totally feeling the warmth. I think that he's gonna need a new hide. He looks very big. That hide is actually from when he was just a little baby. And he still does fit in it, but like, you know, kind of barely. This one, this one is what I got him um, for when he started growing. This one's like a pretty good size for him. And then that one though, that's pretty small. So I'm probably going to need to get him a new one. I'll get him like a rock. So it'll like, you know, warm up. But yeah, he's totally feeling the heat right now. He just shoved his human hide out of the way so he could fit in like that tiny little space. That was funny. Hi, Pop. Hi. How you doing? Look at how cute. It's later in the night now. Um, just want to show that the temperatures are at like the perfect um amounts. Cool side's supposed to be like around like seventy six ish, and then the warm side is like eighty five to ninety, so it's pretty perfect. Simba is in his favorite hide right now, right there. Um, but yeah, this is the tank. I really like it. I think it came out really, really nice. Here's like a held back up. There it is. Look at that. I think I did pretty good. And because of um, what happened in my family, I probably won't be posting this video for a while. It's like two weeks later. Um, a lot has happened. As you guys know, um, my grandma did pass away 
because of all that, I had to go travel to New York and have the memorial and, you know, all that. So this past week and a half has been very eventful, which is why I haven't finished the video yet, even though I'm very excited to show the world this. I've decided I'm not going to be adding any live plants yet, or at least not in this video. So right now I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like and show you guys me handling him a little bit. Here is the final product about a week and a half later. It's still holding up so nice. I'm still so obsessed with it. Also, that fell, but as you guys can see, the temperatures are very good, which I'm very proud of. Um, so Simba is in his black hide right now, and yeah, I'm just going to get him out now. Obviously, I like to be as gentle as I can. Slowly lift it up. Hi, bub. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Hi, sweet boy. There we go. There we go. Hi. Why are you licking me? Hi. So here we are. One of his favorite things to do is go up on my arm and sit on my shoulder, which he might do. He was actually doing that this morning. And it was so cute. I actually took a video. I might um, put the video in. Yeah, sometimes he just chills though. Look how cool he is. Wanna get a picture? I don't want to keep him out for too long just because he does tend to get a little stressed. Um, he's still getting used to being handled. Right now, I really am just focusing on gaining his trust and, you know, going at his pace. Alright, so yeah, that was the end of the video. I hope you guys like it. I'm honestly so excited about this because this is my first time actually doing, like, a natural um, enclosure. This is my first reptile I've ever had. I've always been more into like the minimalist type of look, I guess you could say. Very like white and kind of like bland. So this is like more about nature, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, let me know if you guys like the enclosure by giving it a like. Please let me know if you guys see anything wrong with the enclosure or have any extra tips for me. Because I obviously don't just care about the looks and having a pretty enclosure i really want to make sure this is a really good and suitable place for simba to live thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you guys watching this and i will see you guys on my next animal journey bye